everybody. Thank you for joining us here at Altitude University. As we enter 2024, we want you to be up to date with changes with the Part 107 regulations. One of the major changes is the extension for the remote ID requirements. First, let's recap what remote ID is. Well, it's the ability of a drone to broadcast its identification and location during flight. This information is gonna be available to law enforcement and FAA, and it provides information such as your serial number, latitude and longitudinal coordinates, altitude and velocity. There are three different ways that we can comply with this new regulation. The first one being a standard remote ID, and that consists of remote ID capabilities that are built into your drone. We have drones with remote ID broadcast modules, which means you have a drone that doesn't have this remote ID built into it, but you have a module that you can attach to your drone to comply with this reg. And lastly, we have drones that do not have remote ID. Here we have a graphic from the FAA that kind of goes into detail on how those three different ways comply with the regulation. We have drone remote identification, that's going to be your standard remote ID drones, and it uses radio frequencies such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to comply with the reg. Our drones with remote ID broadcast modules comply the same way, but again we have that module that is attached to our drone. If you're operating your drone that does not have remote ID, then you are going to be restricted to flying only in FAA recognized identification areas. Originally, all drone pilots had to comply with this regulation starting on September 16th, 2023. But recently, the FAA has come out with a notice and due to limited availability of broadcast modules and a lack of FAA recognized identification areas, they have extended this regulation to not be in effect for another six months. Starting on March 16th, 2024, we will be required to comply with the remote ID requirements. That is all we have for you for the major changes in the beginning of the year. But as changes come out in 2024, we will keep you guys updated. Thank you.